All right, this your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones and learn his truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled Queen Elizabeth is now with the Lord. Queen Elizabeth is now with the Lord. Now, this is the big news that happened today. Uh, Queen Elizabeth passed away and everything like that. And uh, pretty much, you know, people are, you know, speaking about it. Some people are sad. And, and then, then again, there's a lot of people across the world is actually laughing at this situation. And of course, us, you know, we're looking at it as well. Hey, you know, she lived her long life, but when she comes back, uh in this earth when she comes back and comes back on earth in her new body she's going straight into slavery man straight into slavery which she well deserves all right because she definitely has done a lot of wicked things behind the scenes all right and so it says she was 96 years old uh we really don't have to read anything too much on her or anything like that it's really not that big of a deal but you know uh they portrayed her as one of the sweethearts of the world <laughs> all right she was definitely she was portrayed as one of the people that people looked up to and admired and people liked her because she lived such a long life she was born in 1926 now she passed away in 2022 she almost lived to be 100 years old and all these different things man and then of course like i said when you go to the images this is the way that they uh put her in the spotlight you know she she just looked like a happy golden girl you know and you know she just lived that rich life and everybody loved and respected her all right but as we all know we know her as being part of the wicked which is esau edom the so-called white man all right she was part of that family her spirit definitely goes back to the to the bloodline of esau all right so i want to get this picture right here hold on let me get this picture real quick all right and as you can see <laughs> as you can see it says eyes on a window to the soul and you see all of the top uh elite banking families you know you see the Rothschilds, you see the pope all right and in the middle at the bottom you see her all right you see her you can see right in her eyes man you can see the wickedness in her eyes all right because in order for you to be on top like that and especially in a position that she was in you already know you got to do a lot of wicked shit behind the scenes in order to stay there all right because even esau even the 13 banking families you know they do a lot of uh wild shit behind the scenes man because they pray to satan they pray to satan all right this is where they get their power from this is where they get their riches from and it's all from the left hand side of you how about show me how shy anyway because he set them up to rule this world just like it says in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. But at the end of the day, you know, even even them, they can't even be on top without doing something wild in order to maintain it. Okay. It is like I said, you look at her face. Just look at her face, man. Look at her face. <laughs> she evil, man. She is evil. Just look at it, man. You can see right through it. You can see right through it. All right. Like I said, this is who she really is. And now, just like Apostle Ramlob said in his video that he just did when he spoke about this situation, he was like, look, man, she in the spirit world now. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai told her her judgment. And now she just waiting to come back down in the earth again so she can finally live out that judgment. She's going to be one of the children to one of the 13 banking families. Because as we all know, they're going to be the first ones to go into slavery because they're going to be able to get away from this destruction so to speak all right at least they're gonna try all right they're gonna try to get away from this destruction they're gonna uh you know try to fly into space they got the underground bunkers and all these different things that they have planned but it's all gonna be stopped because 144,000 and your house shining the angels you know all that power is gonna be able to break through esau's power all right but to get back to the subject point um like I said, she passed away and it is what it is, you know, uh, but she's going to receive the judgment that she well deserves, man. Okay, so let's just grab a few scriptures and then we'll close it out. 
just like Apostle Rhyme Live said up in his video, he was like, this could be a setup, but he said at the same time, uh, he said this at the same time, hold on one second. He said, this uh, definitely um, doesn't feel like a setup just for the simple fact that, uh, you know, she was of age. She was up there in age, man. All right, so this could actually be her death for real. But at the same time, you know, we just looking to see what play out from this because like he said in this video, this, this can cause a lot more turmoil and chaos overseas and everything like that. So, uh, you know, we just gotta wait and see. But in the meantime, you know, we're gonna continue to attend upon the Lord, just like it says right here. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 35. And it says, in this I speak for your own profit, now that I may cast a snare upon you, but that, but for that which is comely, and that you may attend upon the Lord without distraction. So, at the end of the day, we're going to keep watching, going to keep praying, and keep paying attention to what's going on in the world. And we're not going to let certain things like this keep us from uh, keep us from not attending upon the Lord. All right, but we will watch to see what's going to be the outcome of her passing. We're definitely going to keep watching to see what how this affects everything else. Okay. We're gonna jump to the next scripture. Like I said, we don't have to uh, keep this long or anything like that. I just want to bring out a few scriptures, speaking on a few things. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse 15. It says, that which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and the most I requireth that which is past. All right, so everything that these Edomites have done to the nation of Israel, you know, since the you know the every single captivity that they had us in all the way up until now the most high requires that man he requires that judgment okay and she lived a long life man she lived a long life and she have done a lot of wicked things behind the scenes for her uh long life so the most high requires that judgment man and she's gonna receive that judgment when she comes back on earth point blank period and this is a beautiful thing to see her go away like this too, because this is showing you the power of your how about Shemmy I was shot. He's bringing down these uh, these rich uh, people, man. He's bringing down uh, the elite of the elite of the world. All right, because I believe uh, one of the Rockefeller, one of the Rothschilds, I forget his name, he passed away a few years ago. Now she's gone. Now as we all know, you know the. Uh, the top banking families, they're, you know, all of them are going to live because they're going to have to fill out the scripture where they're going to have to be the first fruits of slavery. All right. But at the same time, this is just showing you that Babylon is falling, man. Just like the brothers been saying, Babylon is circling around a drain. All of the power that Esau has is slowly but surely disappearing, man. It's disappearing. And this is all equaling up to the most high judging them on a whole, on a whole, man. So at the end of the day. The most I requires what has passed, which is passed, Salakia. All right, everything that they have done to us, we're getting ready to do to them. All right, so let's get Psalms chapter 10, verse 1. This is Psalms chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor, let them be taken into the vices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all, all his thoughts. That's right. She was not thinking about Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai at all. Like I said, because she had pride in her countenance, just like we see. Uh, look at this picture right here. <laughs> You can see the pride, you can see the wickedness, you can see the evil. You can see that look like, yeah, man, I'm on top. It ain't nothing you can do about it, you know? You can just see it, man. You can see it in all their faces. Look at it, man. Look at it. They, they looking at everybody like they can't be touched. And that's written in the scriptures. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Okay? So at the end of the day, the Most High is getting ready to show his true power on, and show exactly who, these, uh, who he is. All right, these Edomites are about to be brought very, 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 very low. The curses that we're going through are getting ready to be brought upon them. But the difference is they're going to have to receive it double. They're going to have to receive it double, man. All right. So she wasn't thinking about the Mosai at all. And the Mosai told her this too. <laughs> the Mosai told her everything that she did in her life. And the Mosai told her this is, what she's gonna, this is how you're going to have to pay for it. 
when she comes back she's going to be born into slavery point blank period let's get one last scripture and close it out let's get lamentations chapter 4 verse 21 and it says rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom and dwellest in the land of Uz the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity O daughter of Edom he will discover thy sins so the cup is definitely getting ready to be passed unto the daughter of Edom Esau all right and just because you know these uh Edomite women they're going to be concubines to the 144,000 and ultimately all of Israel and a lot of a lot of those women may think that they're going to have it easy no nah, man you ain't going to have it easy man you ain't going to have it easy just because you might be a concubine to one of the 144,000 doesn't mean that you're going to live a decent life no if you are an Edomite woman you're going to receive double man because you all have done a lot to the nation of Israel you all have played a huge role in destroying the nation of Israel man point blank period so the cup is definitely getting ready to pass through until the daughter of Edom you Edomites out there are getting ready to serve safe uh <clears throat> so like it to serve slavery and then after a thousand years you're going to be rounded up and you're going to be burned you're going to be exterminated it's going to be no more so-called white people on the planet earth ever again after that thousand years is over all right so at the end of the day hey this is breaking news it is what it is you know uh like I said, she passed away and everything like that. But it's just showing you that the Most High is uh, taking that scepter out of Esau's hand, man. It's not your time to rule no more. This is why he's getting ready to do that Revelation 12 and 12. And he's going to try, but it's not going to happen, man. Joel 20 and 23, I believe, tells you as soon as he's getting ready to fill his cup while he's eating, that's when the Most High is going to interfere, man. All right. Esau's not going to be able to live out his rulership it's over with you had your time you had your fun you was able to do all the wickedness you wanted now it's over now you have to pay for everything that you have done man point blank period so i hope this is edifying so with that i'm gonna say call halayim yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham rakakwadash double honor to the apostles of the great millstone which i learned this truth from honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity and shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning and you have a right to zap i'll be back with another lesson keep pushing y'all surrounded keep pushing we almost out of here shalom